2030 launch, representatives of the Global Challenge Foundation Forum, and fellow youth leaders. Thank you for your time and the opportunity to speak before you today here at the Palace of Nations in Geneva. My name is Alexander Taylor, and I believe that leadership is not an academic exercise alone. I'm the founder and president of Arto Next Gen, the youth leadership organization that empowers social entrepreneurs and aspiring professionals around the world. I'm also a Morehouse Honors student, um, which incorporates leadership values in its core curriculum. In light of pressing global challenges and critical agenda 2030 objectives, now is the time for youth leaders and aspiring social entrepreneurs to address and create sustainable solutions for the future. So I was inspired to do global um, affairs um, from my great grandfather, who was an ambassador from Haiti to Ethiopia. He always completely immersed himself wherever he went and was multilingual as well as multi-talented. It was out of my inspiration for my great-grandfather that I decided to spend eight months overseas in Senegal, the West African region of the continent. So while I was there, I was walking down with my host brother. I was talking to him in Wolof. Um, and in the center of the village that I was in, there was a school um, under construction. So we walk in, and as we're moving the materials and building it, my brother explains to me in Wolof, that this is to be a school for children of impoverished or orphan backgrounds, children who would not have educational opportunities otherwise. So upon completing the school, I came to realize that how many of the members of the community came together to be able to complete this objective. And through its completion, members from all over the community came out, they dipped their hands in paint, and they planted them on the exterior walls of the school to symbolize how the community came together to solve a local problem. This illuminated my paradigm. I came to want to understand what other organizations, what are NGOs doing, and how are they connecting to stakeholders, to the members of the community, and are they doing it properly? So I came to come to realize that I was walking through the Kedigru region on independent travel. Uh, this was with the Global Citizen Year program. I received the merit grant to go for eight months to immerse myself while in Senegal after high school. And um, this, when I was walking in this community, what I found was striking. These are two depictions. There's two women here, right? They're drinking out of water straw filters. Um, nothing unstriking, right? Access to clean water, um, it's important. But when I came to realize was that I didn't see the bigger picture before. What actually is happening here is the woman's dress is completely immersed in water. And the child on the second woman's back isn't going to be able to draw water from it. And the reason why she's not going to be able to draw water is because infants cannot draw from the high pressure of the water filter. So this is a solution by a well-intended organization that wasn't meeting the needs of the community, that wasn't meeting the needs of the stakeholders. So this inspired me to try to reassess how do we train youth leaders and how do we better address youth leadership in general. So I created stages of collaboration. So from planning, we have youth leaders, stuff like Ian Amoreos, um, in the Philippines, uh, trying to develop a school, um, educational opportunity in the rural region. Um, but he's still in the planning stage. So whether you're from that stage or at, all the way at the maturity level over here, with Christopher Pinkos, a Peace Corps volunteer who has already has built a school and wants to know how he can keep it sustainable when he returns home. Because after he returns home, who's going to be managing? This is the type of situations that Arden Next Gen is going to work with. In addition to the work with Arden Next Gen, I developed a proposal for the New Shape Prize. Uh, this challenge for the Global Challenge Foundation, uh, I was the youngest to compete in it at 18 years old. Uh, I have now currently synthesized all the work of the current finalists and uh, plan to be submitting it to the Paris Peace Forum to address global challenges within different systems and sub-bodies. These are just a few faces of our next geners, a few faces of people who are standing up to face global challenges in their own way. In light of UN Sustainable Goal 17, I thank you so much for your time and offer our collaboration with you.